So with matrix multiplication now, uh, like we just established in the previous slides, the first thing to know is whether or not the number of columns of the first matrix equal the number of rows in the second matrix, right? So we can test that out with, the, with these matrices here. We have our A matrix times our B matrix. Our A matrix is three by two, and our B matrix is two by two. So the number of columns equals the number of rows. So something that is easy to remember is you just gotta make sure the two numbers that are right next to each other are equal. And then your answer, it's kind of be, it's gonna be something funny that your answer is actually gonna be these two numbers. So you can tell a lot when you're multiplying matrices just by their order. So you know that you can multiply them together because these two numbers are the same and you know that you're gonna end up with a matrix that's three by two, okay? And so we'll go through and we'll multiply these matrices together, uh, not really step by step, but I'll go through it one by one here. So our N matrix is gonna be a three by two. So I'm gonna make a big matrix here to show all of our math, and then I'm gonna write our N matrix over here. So in our big matrix, um, we know that our top left entries are going to be our top left or our left. Um, that, was, that was poor. That was poor. I'm going to restart that. Our top left entry in our answer matrix is going to be a combination of the top row of our first matrix and the first column of our second matrix. Okay? So... Since A is first, we're going to go from the top down, and since B is second, we're going to go from the left to right, because we want to end up with our 3 by 2. So, for example, we will have negative 3 times negative 3, or negative 1 times negative 3. Plus... 3 times negative 4. So do you see how it goes top, left, top, left? And similarly, pardon me, similarly, we are going to um, hit the top right the same way. So we're taking the top, negative 1, times the right, 2, plus the top, 3, times the right, 1. And that's our top right entry. So we'll go down the rest of the way here. I'm just going to make sure I'm following along correctly and I got the right answers. Okay, cool. So similarly, we're going to go 4 times negative 3 plus negative 2 times 2, because that's, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Negative 2 times negative 4, because we're still working on the left side of the matrix, so we're going to use the left side of the matrix. <clears throat> so we've got 4 times negative 3, and then we're going to go negative 2 times negative 4. And then in the right entry, in the middle, it's going to be middle again, so 4, times the right side, so 2, plus negative 2 times 1. And lastly, or not quite lastly, but we've got the bottom left, so we've got the bottom 5 times the left, negative 3, plus 0 times negative 4. And on the right, we have the bottom and the right, so we've got 5 times 2, plus 0 times 1. So that's the math for our matrix. And to simplify this, to end up our multiplication, we're just going to put these together. So if we simplify that down, this is equal to the matrix, the 3 by 2 matrix, right? So 3 columns, 2 rows. And the matrix is going to be negative 9, 1, negative 4, 6, 
negative 15, 10. So that's matrix multiplication. Um, like I said, I think the easiest way, or like I was talking about, I think the easiest way to remember this is filling in the top left entry of your answer. You take the top of the first matrix, because that comes first when you say top left. You don't say left top. Uh, when you say top left, you take the top and then the left. So that's how I remember it. There's a lot of math to it, but we can do this kind of math all day. We just got to make sure we keep it straight. So try the next two examples on your own. We'll use some of that for class material. Um, I hope you all are getting a good grip on this, and I'll see you all in class.